Braced governors demand rehabilitation of eastern seaports. Uh -huh. It's not that beginning to wake up. All the governors in the southeast, uh, the middle belt, should ask for the uh, seaports in the southeast or the eastern part of Nigeria, the eastern region, to be developed. You can imagine Tinubu's government, rather than developing all those uh, other seaports between Wari, uh, Port Harcourt, and Calabar, he's going to create a, 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 dry, a dry port, a, a, a ground dry port at Kano, saying so they're going to use it to decongest Lagos uh, seaport. Does that make sense? Eh? The whole Kano, what is Kano importing or what is Kano exporting? What is the traffic flow in Kano? So how are you going to decongest the goose or decongest things from uh, Port Harcourt, from Lagos to Port Harcourt, by road or by water or by how? Or even if you are getting a bill of lading from abroad to Nigeria, how would the vessel enter uh, Kano? Or is it going to be by air, cargo, cargo, cargo plane? These people, eh, I don't understand. The, 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 the Kano has the kind of airport that can, that can receive cargo plane into that place regularly. And what is the cost of shipping by air and shipping by sea? And which one would importers prefer? You didn't consider all of that. You are here in a while for this for this for these people. So let's see now that the eastern governors have braced up to see how they can rehabilitate the eastern seaport. Let's see their plan quickly. Governors of the South South geopolitical zone under the auspices of Braced Commission says they will engage the federal government on the decentralization and rehabilitation of seaports in Nigeria. Braised, which stands for Bayesa River, Aquaibom, Cross River, and Edo Delta. Oh boy. Bayesa Rivers, Aquaibom, Cross River, said, and Edo Delta. Okay. Um, said it will also examine the feasibility of a regional environmental law and environmental blue carbon partnership for the protection of the mangroves forest ecosystems in the region. The governors during a meeting hosted by the chairman of commission and the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obasaki, said there was an urgent need for a review of the Nigerian constitution such that more powers, resources and, and uh, responsibilities are devolved to the state for faster economic growth and development, security and peaceful coexistence. Yes, so Obasaki, who read the communique uh, issued at the end of the meeting assured that the governors of the six south-south states were poised to reposition the commission after a long period of inactivity and promote regional socioeconomic development and integration that, that will be mutually beneficial to the states which they are determined to sustain. Now, to collectively engage the federal government on the development of key infrastructures in the region, particularly road, rail development, fast train from Lagos to Calabar, the decentralization and rehabilitation of the seaport in the region, as well as the management of security in the country. Now, to direct the commissioners of environment and attorney generals of the state to meet and collectively examine the feasibility of a regional environmental law and uh, environmental blue carbon partnership for the protection of the mangroves forest ecosystems of the south south as uh, mangroves forest ecosystem of the south south and to work with the president of the federal republic of nigeria for the benefit of the region to foster regional economic cooperation and integration with a view to achieving sustainable development through the creation of a strong regional economy for the collective benefit of the people of the south south now establish and inaugurate the braised business council in order to forge closer partnership with the council to improve the business climate and attract investors and businesses into the region of basaki said okay that makes sense braised hmm? earlier director general of the braised commission ambassador joe keshi said the commission was created in 2011 to improve agriculture education uh, environment power security and utilization of sports to empower youths of the region mm. so in the meaning of braised they call the created braised commission so the meaning of braised is by rivers aquaibom uh, cross rivers edo 
and Delta State, respectively, got embraced. <laughs> now, wow, Niger Delta State, South South State, form braced and create braced commission to see how they can enhance the economic activities of the state. And this is a very good development if they can actually sustain it. Um, the region has been looking out for something like this for a very long time. So why is Obaseki doing this now? Is it because he's trying to get out? Uh, but the only thing I see that this will help is that APC is trying to see how they can capture some of these south-south states because they are oil producing state. So if these so-called braced governors are able to sit tight under PDP, they can hold those states to themselves and you know ensure that none of the states is taken over by APC. So uh, let me see. There are some comments here. Somebody say that now on they wake up, eh? On a good morning, you hey, know, it's one thing. And now, now they wake up. Now, so now people won't get sense with this. Not your useless, our useless Igbo leaders with a rotting mindset when no uh, no one wants the progress of their land. Now, this one thing, you know. <laughs> the people don't depress them, we will never see results yet. Now, so they have enslaved the south south, especially the southeast, for too long. Uh, as OT of Abia State have started something remarkable and Tinubu is busy relocating agencies from Abuja to Lagos. The South South governors have woken up from their sleep, okay, very deep sleep. Well, if only the governors of the Southeast can stop snoring and wake up too, the better for the two regions. Yes, so Southeast and South South regions. If they, the better they can wake up and use what they are getting to do more for their states. I tell you, there will be, it will be so great. It will be so great. Uh, some say, without a doubt, these six states can pool resources together to build cross border infrastructures without waiting for the federal government that has been dragged around by the core north. As for seaport, I don't know if the federal government will take a bomb state to cut or confiscate the port if the state would go ahead to develop the seaport. It was planning to it was planning to do. That's a back seaport. River State has been be, has been bullied to bow to the federal authorities and their interests shared between Abuja politicians who do not really have interest in the state. Not be smart, you know. I think they should do something. The governors should continue to cooperate and do something. Useless people. <laughs> when I don't finish uh, taking a guguru, Abi Saple Water. Good morning for waking up late. Hmm. Yeah, they are waking up late, but it's better they wake up late than never waking up at all. Now that federal government is congesting CBN and airport authority back to Lagos, okay? But like I mentioned, they congest Lagos port by opening up South South and Southeast maritime assets. These Lagos ports are even counterproductive if you consider humongous losses to stakeholders, including ordinary road users caused by the inefficiencies and blockages over there. Hmm. What about reverse seaport? Yes, we've got reverse seaport in Delta. We've got seaport in Delta State of Worry. We've got in uh, River State at Onne. And we also got in Cross River State at Calabar. So something has to be done. Hmm. Yes, so no functional seaport in the whole of the Southeast and South South. It's actually very bad. Uh, you think on that Tinubu's watch, any other seaport would work apart from Lagos port? He will do everything within his power to truncate the move. He will do And that's a good move. Okay, we need a productive Nigeria with enabling environment for business. That is it, if they can do it. But unfortunately, only God knows um, whether this will end on paper and meetings or if it will be actualized. Because some of them are going to leave office soon. And uh, like a those state, if a those state conducts its election by the end of this uh, uh, year, uh, with with the new incoming governor cooperate with the other governors under this braised uh, braised agenda, I don't know how uh, that will work. But I think if they can sustain all of these for the next four years, something definitely will start. Well, it is not too late to start. I will have to start from somewhere. The most important thing is that something is started and followed to conclusion. So thank you for listening. 
and let's have a comment.